Imagine the Roseanne show minus Roseanne. That's the elevator pitch for ABC's new show, The Connors, announced this week. Same cast, same couch, just one big empty seat at the table. Roseanne's downfall was sudden and shocking. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. Roseanne. A month ago, the network celebrated her as the star of its annual Upfront presentation. The hottest new show on television, averaging over 18 million wow. viewers a night. <laughs> Then, just two weeks later, that infamous tweet comparing a former Obama aide to an ape. ABC's number one show tanked by a 3 a.m. tweet. Roseanne apologized, but the damage was done. That one tweet cost hundreds of her co-workers their jobs and left the network with a gaping hole in the fall lineup. Roseanne Barr was not just the star of the original show and the reboot, she was its co-creator and executive producer. Normally, she'd be entitled to a share in the profits of any future spin-offs, whether or not she appears on camera. But according to ABC, Roseanne won't benefit financially from the Connors. Network executives insist she'll have no financial or creative involvement in the new series whatsoever. Roseanne issued the following statement about the spinoff. I agreed to the settlement in order that 200 jobs of beloved cast and crew could be saved, and I wish the best for everyone involved. This is sort of uncharted territory, and we're really not sure what to expect just yet. We can speculate up and down, but the producers are being very quiet in terms of how they're actually going to address the big elephant in the room, which is, what do you do without Roseanne? The show must go on, but it's a gamble. All in the Family without Archie Bunker? Oh, that'd be the day. MASH without Hawkeye? Just doesn't work. Damn, she's hypertensive. Turns out you can swap out members of an ensemble cast. ER survived long after George Clooney went on to bigger and better things. Dunder Mifflin did just fine without Steve Carell mismanaging the office. Two and a half men, minus Charlie Sheen. What a loser. Plus Ashton Kutcher kept going. But replacing the biggest star is harder. House of Cards continued just for one more season after Kevin Spacey was fired following allegations of sexual misconduct. And Transparent will disappear, filming its fifth and final season after controversial star Jeffrey Tambor was fired. ABC is banking on the idea that those huge ratings had more to do with the ensemble than with the sharp-tongued matriarch of the Connor clan. Relatable, well, we real people, the rare TV family who are not one percenters. Ladies and gentlemen, we spoke with actor Michael Fishman before Roseanne was canceled. What I hear from fans uh, very frequently through social media is that they feel okay struggling that they like, that they see us struggle, and they can relate to that. Black people are just like us. They're every bit as good as us. Plot lines already mine those characters for dramatic effect, exploring their struggles with real-life issues. I don't want to kiss Gina. Hey, tough, you're doing it. I hate you. Well, fine, you don't have to kiss me. In the original show, DJ hesitates to kiss a black girl in the school play. In the reboot, we find out he ended up marrying her. Now they have a biracial child. Who wants whipped cream? Me. In the new show, there's still plenty of room to explore that storyline, even without Roseanne's running commentary. We have so many powerful voices that we really do a good job of kind of trying to play all sides and have real conversations that you'd see in your own kitchen or living room. First, let's say Grace. Jackie, would you like to take a knee? But Roseanne's character was the one member of the Connor family known to have voted for Trump. Thank you for making America great again. Will the show still appeal to those viewers who've been feeling overlooked by network TV? Is her? Frank Luntz. This is what half of America lives like and looks like. And if we had lost that show, we would have lost a slice of America that you simply can't get anyplace else. I don't think the appeal was simply because Roseanne seemed to be a Trump voter or a Trump supporter. I think the appeal was much broader and much more representative of a segment of society that simply isn't listened to or isn't respected by either the mainstream media or popular culture. According to the Screen Actors Guild, the stars would have to be paid for at least seven episodes, even if none were produced. That's a multi-million dollar severance.
Now, ABC will have something to show for all that money. The only thing that they'll say in their announcement is that the Connor family is adjusting to life after a big, major life event. Now, we can read between the lines and realize that life event involves the disappearance of Roseanne, uh, Roseanne Connor. So the question is, what happens to her? <laughs> One big question, how will the new show explain Roseanne's departure? I really don't feel so good. The writers have some experience there. The original show killed off John Goodman's character. Damn! And still, he was able to come back for the reboot. They just glossed it over, made a joke out of it. I thought you were dead. I'm sleeping. The big question is going to be, do they kill off Roseanne's character? And all signs honestly point to yes. How else do you explain her disappearance? Is she on a world trip for a year? Uh, has she taken a job in another town? In this case, ABC and the cast of the Connors may end up having the last laugh. The one thing we do know is, it won't be the laugh we all remember. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.